Last week, Ohio State supplied a beatdown to tie a nice bow on non-conference play. Their upcoming opponent will pose much more of a threat, and the Buckeyes are hoping their primetime stop in Lincoln will get them one step closer to Indianapolis. What's shaking, Buckeye Nation? I'm Blake Baker with OhioStateBuckeyes.com, talking the Buckeyes' trip to Nebraska coming up this Saturday. During the preseason, these two were popular picks to end up among the Big Ten's best. And though so far Ohio State has upheld its end of the deal, Nebraska, on the other hand, suffered an overtime setback a couple weeks ago, and last week, they had a comeback victory over lowly Illinois. But don't be fooled. I thought they pretty much dominated the whole game. They just turned the ball over. Um, so if they don't turn the ball over, I don't think that game's even close. We're taking this game very seriously, um, and they're a good opponent. So uh, it's a Big Ten play. They have really good backs and have a really good quarterback who can run the ball. And, and that's one thing that we have to stop is stop the run. That's one thing that Nebraska is really good at. And when you combine that all together with the tempo, it's, it's hard to prepare for. This is going to be by far the biggest challenge of the year for us, uh, going on the road, um, you know, night game at uh, one of the toughest places to play in a conference. The Bucks will have to keep an eye on a whole host of Huskers who've wreaked some havoc this season. Their leading receiver is averaging over 21 yards a catch. They own the reigning Big Ten Freshman of the Week, and he has over 300 all-purpose yards and three touchdowns. Plus, three of their ball carriers have over 200 yards on the season. And that includes quarterback Adrian Martinez, who, if you remember correctly, in the shoe last year, had almost 350 yards and three total touchdowns. Now, he's a dual threat guy who's gaining some national attention, and that means the Buckeye coaching staff is paying attention as well. Great competitor, uh, great leader, got a great way about him. He's big and strong and powerful. He's, uh, he's very athletic. You got to get him on the ground, uh, which, which is not easy. Um, I think when you combine that together of you know, the ability to run and throw, along with his, his intelligence and, and uh, you know, game management. Yeah, he is by far the best quarterback we've seen. And if you've been paying attention, you know Ohio State's got a pretty darn good quarterback of its own. I mean, six touchdowns in a quarter last week? Justin Fields is rewriting record books. So the numbers have been impressive, yes. But to impress in Nebraska on a national stage, he's just going to have to remain natural and keep composed. He's been very mature on knowing when he needs to force a throw or when he doesn't. Take him, he can run, so he can take off and run. You know, I mean, Dwayne didn't have to, didn't have that ability too much. But uh, you know, a guy like him, he's he's very mature. I'm excited to see how he looks going into, you know, Nebraska going into these bigger games on the road. Ohio State's confident, and they should be. They're clicking in all aspects. But just like you, Buckeye Nation, they know what recent history tells them: Big Ten road games are no joke, especially against a team that hasn't even been tested yet. When you're a prize fighter, no matter what match you're into or what fight you're going into, you know, someone's going to try to take you out. And you have to be ready for that. And if you ever let your guard down, you're going to get knocked out. I think the older guys who have been through it before do respect that and understand that. I think the younger guys, um, you know, they have to learn a little bit how that's going to be. So that's that's been something we've talked about every single day so that, you know, that something like that doesn't happen. Buckeyes and Huskers kick off at 7.30 our time, but the fun begins at 9 a.m. on ESPN's College Game Day. When kickoff rolls around, it'll be on ABC for the TV side. On the radio, you can find it at 97.1 The Fan. And don't forget about our game day live segment on our website, which will fill you in on live audio, live stats, and some in-game photos. You can find that at OhioStateBuckeyes.com, where, as always, has all your news on all things Buckeyes. You can also hit us with a follow on Twitter at OhioSTAthletics. Primetime prize fight in Lincoln, going to be a big one. Go Bucks!